to vandalize people's private properties and to loot them. It's criminality. If you do that, we'll point you out and you'll be prosecuted. But as for Nigerians to come out and gather and express themselves, express displeasure for bad governance, express displeasure for corruption, express displeasure for looting of our uh, looting of our national treasury, we must come Ferdinand. out and express displeasure. They are looking for the sponsors of the protest. Nobody is sponsoring it. It's a social media awareness. That well, joining us now on this show as we review yesterday's activities is Kingdom Okere, convener, lawyers in defense of democracy and human rights. But good morning, uh, uh, Kingdom. Good morning, Kingdom Okere. Good morning, my very respected. Good morning. Thank you very much. Very respected presenters, and good morning, Nigerians. Thank you very much. But before we start the conversation, I understand our reporter, Obadioye, uh, is. Uh, Okay, Obadoye is not ready yet. When he's ready, we'll go to him. But yesterday we had you on this program, and we just showed the video of what you said yesterday. Today is day two. We have all listened to you. You condemned the violence. You supported uh, demonstration against bad governance. But with the benefit of insight, the morning after, mm -hmm. what's your assessment of what transpired yesterday? Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, what transpired yesterday, like uh, we did very early in the morning, we called out activists and human rights uh, lawyers to join us at the protest so that all of us will not be silenced in this country from speaking out against impunity, against corruption, against uh, uh, misgovernance and looting of our public treasury. And that we did. By the time we arrived, I arrived at uh, the MK Abiola Stadium where we have been notified that there is a court order confining the protest in Abuja at MK Abiola Stadium. I met my brother, Comrade Deji. Uh, I don't want you. He was already um, discussing with the CP of police and the, uh, the media men were also there. I also, of course, I saw it on our eyes TV and I joined them. And we tried to provide solution. We tried to uh, dissect the uh, so-called court order, which we are appealing this morning. We have already filed a notice of appeal and uh, we have looked at the court order. It's vacuum it didn't, none of the us who are promoting the protest, peaceful protest, not riot and criminality. We are promoting peaceful protest, particularly as lawyers in defense of democracy who are part of this uh, uh, end governance protest. Ours, we are promoting peaceful protest, not criminality, not destruction of government properties and private properties of their fellow suffering uh, citizens. And uh, when we got there, we dissected the uh, court order, and it's a, uh, an order from a court of com competent jurisdiction, a high court of the city, and it ought to be obeyed until set aside. And that is what we have taken steps to do to seek to set it aside. But while we do that, we uh, saw the need to uh, respect court order and we try to uh, confine our activity at the uh, MK Abiola Stadium. But that we did for almost two hours until the government themselves, it is this government of Ashwajibol Ahmed Tinumbu, the man who himself protested severally and the man who sponsored, sponsored several civil protests in Nigeria since the inception of democracy and during the military era. Tinumbu himself not only protested, sponsored several protests in this country. He is the person now that unleashed mayhem, that unleashed terror on the peaceful protesters. While we were there at the MK Abiola Stadium, we saw buses of more, more than 10 coastal buses that uh, uh, conveyed their talks to MK Abiola Stadium to come and attack the protesters. And unfortunately for them, some of the some of the, the talks they hired, after they have collected 2,000 naira, they joined the protest because they too they are hungry, because they too they are buying from the same market, because they too they are suffering from... Uh, uh, insecurity and poverty and misery that this government uh, of APC have unleashed on us. So uh, that was exactly what happened until, until those talks that were imported by the uh, uh, cabals in the Trinidad administration came. The protest was confided at MQ Abiola Stadium. It remained peaceful. So it was when they brought in their talks that the protesters now felt that they also need to move. Let the, their talks try to stop them from moving. And that was when they now moved peacefully and proceeded to Eagle Square. And the police, uh, for the FCT police commissioner, he was too professional. Um, he tried to calm down the same, uh, the the, the 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 situation and try to see, uh, ensure that we co we protested within the ambits of the law while he was emphasizing on the need to uh, obey the court order. So the police and the road safety and other sister security agencies they escorted the protesters until they went beyond. Uh, they walked down uh, from Finance Bridge heading to uh, Independent uh, Avenue to divert to um, Eagle Square to continue our peaceful protest. That was when uh, the police released uh, tear gas on innocent peaceful and. Uh, 
harmless protesters, not just tear gas. They they change, they turn the whole environment to a war zone. In fact, you could highly breed people around Heta Skeeter. Uh, those of them that were smart, those of us that were asthmatic, we tried to uh, keep safe, and uh, uh, two three people fainted, you know, and but we are really revived because of maybe because of their health condition. So what happened yesterday was a clear uh, 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 demonstration of uh, of lawlessness by this administration of a man who we hold at a very high esteem, a very democrat uh, by nature since 1999 to today, somebody that has okay. challenged several uh, illegalities in, in, in both the law court and uh, uh, by, by way of uh, a peaceful protest and the uh, expression of, uh, okay. of grievances. Kendall. And uh, that was what we witnessed. The police unleashed mayhem on innocent protesters, armed protesters, who conducted themselves peacefully from Enkri Abiola Stadium until we got to um, uh, Independent uh, okay. Avenue okay. and trying to buy by head of service and try to go to Eagle Square. All right, Mr. Kerry, I, I thank you for giving us a, um, a report of your report from your perspective of what happened in Abuja with regards to the protest. I don't know if you've heard, um, you know, listened to the minister of the FCT speak. I don't know. How would you assess the handling? You know, I hear you talk about the police being unprofessional in their conduct and at some point harassing the people. Then um, I'd like you to speak on, touch on the um, impact of the minister of the FCT in terms of the handling of the situation. And then also your, an overview of what happened in other parts of the country. For instance, I'm sure you've seen the reports coming from Kano where there, were, there was vandalization of property and by people there's currently a 24-hour curfew in place. What's your take on this? <laughs> Well, a violent, a violent, uh, any form of violence that, that uh, leads to destruction of uh, public properties and private properties of your uh, fellow citizens you know, must be condemned. I don't see uh, uh, the, your right to freedom of expression to, 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 to lead to destruction of uh, 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 public and private properties. You can express your grievances within the ambience of the law, you know, lawfully, and uh, uh, the government hears you. And if, if the government that thinks well, uh, the uh, constructive criticisms have government you know, to, to, to retire their steps. So what happened, general overview, uh, uh, shows that it is the government themselves that in one way or the other be, uh, be, uh, uh, commences the, uh, the violence. Either they must have reported talks to infiltrate the peaceful protesters and the, thereafter the thing resorted to violence. So whichever one uh, is condemnable, we encourage people to come out and pro protest peacefully and express their misgivings about the things that are going on in this country. And also expect the, the president of the country to be a listening president and to take some proactive steps to show that he is ready to address these issues. We, all the presidential candidates in the 2023 general election, identified subsidy as one thing that was going to be removed. And all of them identified it. And why they were all talking about removal of waste subsidy is because of the corruption that amounts the subsidy regime. Because of the corruption. One year after, the man who presided over the corruption in payment of fuel subsidy. Meleke Ere is still the DMG of NPC. Trouble is still leaving him there. Probably, perhaps, because he's protecting the president's interest in the oil industry, either corrupt interest or otherwise. The person at the helm of affairs at the mainstream industry regulatory system is still there. These are the people that gave us false projections of daily consumption. False projections. Remember the former minister of uh, finance, Zerab, came out and told Nigerians how much about 18.397 billion dollars was paid as daily subsidy consumption. So what we are telling the president is restore the subsidy. Restore the subsidy and remove the corruption in the subsidy. It is not obvious to all Nigerians that subsidy was the only social welfare program that all of us benefited either directly or indirectly. Nobody knew until it was removed by President Bola Metrubu in his presidential address. So he should be a listening president. First of all, restore the subsidy, remove the corruption in the subsidy. Begin first by removing the man who presided over the corruption in the petroleum industry. More than six years, this man was appointed in 2019. More than six years, our refineries are not working. Be a listening president. Meleke Ere is not more than 200 million Nigerians that are protesting, that are dying of hunger because they mismanaged the subsidy regime that okay. led you okay. to remove the subsidy. Okay. Okay. Remove the suspending force, prove okay. the subsidy regime. Okay. Be a listening Mr. president. Mr. Kerry. Mr. Kerry. Other issues that we are asking Mr. for Mr. Kerry. insecurity. Mr. Kerry, two things. Yes. Uh, yeah. The minister of the FCT, uh, Wilson Wicker, said they want engagement. What? should follow that, if they said they want engagement with the protesters. Secondly, he also talked about the fact that they have yes, identified sir. a senator that is sponsoring the protest. What's your take on that? Uh, like, uh, the, that's, I call it government propaganda. They are not very serious with the issue of engaging with the protesters. They're just using that to divert the, people ta the people's attention. Okay, if they said they are looking for the protesters, the protest commenced yesterday. At least between yesterday and today, you must have seen the protesters. You must have seen those promoting the protesters. You must have seen those that came out uh, to address the crowd. You must have seen those that have spoken out in the protest. As early as 8 o'clock yesterday, I was at the police headquarters to tell them that they cannot intimidate all of us. I, I, I started my own protest from the first headquarters. It's not about uh, putting one million police 
and army on the road to, to shut us from, from condemning corruption and the criminality that is going on in this country. Who would resist that? So if they are very sincere with engaging with the protesters, in fact, from, from my own observation, we participating in this protest as nice in defense of, democ in, uh, in of democracy, there is no central coordination. Or, or, or that you can, can talk about to say uh, these are protesters. This is a social media awareness that was driven by hunger, suffering, hopelessness on the side of Nigerian youth. And we have identified various organizations that came together to promote it and people gather and we are speaking out against this uh, illegality, this corruption that is going on in this government. So if you want to engage with the protesters, you have now seen the protesters, you have seen their, their leaders, you have seen those that address them. You, if you are very sincere, they should know how to reach some of us, you know, so that it's not about even reaching some of us. We are not in this business to compromise. The president should list him. Let him restore subsidy and remove the corruption in subsidy. First, we have all identified that subsidy truly was the only social welfare that we all benefited. We never knew until it was removed. Let him be a listening president. Remove subsidy okay. first. The issue Kingdom of insecurity okay. and why farmers cannot go to farm. Kingdom Okira. It's good you made yes. the point that uh, President Tinubu yes, was once uh, a protester himself. You never know. Some of those protesters yesterday may end up in the future as uh, president of uh, Nigeria too. You never know. History has a way of uh, playing its own games. But I want to ask you, all the governors that spoke yesterday, they said they will convey their concerns of the people that they have heard. They will convey the concerns to the government. Now, do you think it is too late now for President Tinubu to at least come out and address the people and say, well, you know, I've had your complaints, or you think it's, it's too late? It's not necessary anymore. As for the senator that... Yes, it's not too him, late, sir. Okay. It's not too late. Okay. As for the senator that uh, Jason Wiki was talking about, he said a certain senator, whom he did not name, was giving pure water and food to protesters. And that, in his view, that amounts to sponsorship of a protest. Uh, do you see anything wrong in a senator or anybody uh, giving people food and uh, water to facilitate the protest? Well, I don't know where the senator gave out pure water and food to protesters. I was... Uh, 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 at the MQ Abella Stadium throughout yesterday. And when we proceeded to Eagles Square, I was there throughout until the time they unleashed Meham with their tear gas and uh, uh, we have to keep safe and return back, you know, to make sure that uh, the protesters go home peacefully to return today. So the issue of a uh, 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 senator coming to sponsor, he's telling pure lies. I was there more than seven hours from MQ Abella Stadium to up to Eagles Square. I was there until each and every one of the protesters left. I was in my car. After they have uh, unleashed tear gas, I parked in a place, I relaxed and watching how uh, uh, the protesters went home peacefully. No senator, no agent of a senator came there to give us pure water or sweet or nothing. Nothing like that. The protesters are not induced. Nobody's inducing anybody. The sponsor of this protest is hunger, poverty, corruption. We care that he's talking about a senator giving pure water. Should be ashamed of himself. We came, became a minister and his priority was to build billions of Naira World residents for vice president. Where did Atuka Bubaka live as president of Nigeria? Where did Kudu Akajanata live as president of Nigeria? Because he before he became president. Where did Lamabu Sambo live? Where did Oshima Jolly for eight years? We came, came and this administration that is corrupt treated came and his priority was to build West Public Fund to build resident for, 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 for the vice president. When the people cannot see food to eat, he's talking about pure water. They don't know what to do and they don't want to do the right thing. It's either they have vowed not to do the right thing or they don't have anything in their, in their, in their head to do the right thing for All the right. people. He should, he should be talking about pure water. When he, is, he, he, he has shown that they don't know where to place priority, right. you remove subsidies. Mr. They are giving more money, more allocation, more allocation to governors. All right. Mr. Yes. Okere, we have to go now, but I want you in 30 seconds to speak about the yes, pro-government protesters. Yesterday, we saw some bosses convey them, will convey them. Were there any issues or fracas between them and the, um, you know, the peaceful protesters um, for and, and bad governance? Very quickly, thank Yes, like, like, like a... Less like in my introduction, I told you that when the CP or FCT CP gave us the electronic, uh, served us the electronic copy of the court order, we confided the activity at the MQR Abella Stadium and we were peaceful, addressing the press peacefully until we saw buses of talks uh, sponsored by uh, the government of uh, President Bola Ahmed. You know, How do you know that? What's the evidence that they were sponsored by the government? They, they came, they were protected by the police, they were protected by, in fact, they were even escorted by the police in convoy of more than 12 uh, 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 higher uh, buses, coastal buses. Uh, they, they came, they parked a little bit afar from the district, and they were given, they collected their money first before they come out to protest. Some of them, after collecting the money, joined the protest, and we are singing alongside right. with us, hunger day, hunger day. Right. So it's not okay. about going to higher talks to come and protest against their fellow citizens. Okay. It's about doing the right thing. Let the president be a little, he should stop listening to some of, this is it, that right. are misleading him. Let him do the right thing. Remove the corruption in subsidy and return subsidy first.
All they right. move the corruption in subsidy. First of all, sack the man who presided over corruption in subsidy. Right. Reform subsidy thank and you. return it. All right. Well, that is the way well, to start. We've heard you this morning, uh, Mr. Kingdom of Kerry, Baxter, Kingdom of Kerry. Thank you for your time and stay safe out there. And um, for your right thank to you protest so is also a peaceful protest. Thank